What's up, my folks? I hope y'all are doing well. I got a good informative video for you guys today. Uh, before we get on it, I want to do a little bit of news. Um, the uh, filing agency took their last payment out today. I'm, I got my notification, and uh, so that's good. They'll be getting on that. That's great. Took forever to pay it off, but it is what it is. It wasn't cheap. But anyhow, that's done, and I'm going to be putting out another uh, interview with you guys. For you guys, uh, it'll probably, I don't know, the next day or two. Um, but I want to say this, okay? <clears throat> there, That last video, because that picture uh, with everyone together, there was a lot of comments on it that wasn't cute. It wasn't jokes. It wasn't clever. It wasn't any of that. It's racial into windows you're dropping on people. And saying smart ass shit about people by the way they look. And that's that's the that's a perfect example of racism. Okay? I don't like it. I don't think it's it's cute. It's not funny. None of that. You don't know the guys that you're talking about and show a little respect. You know, it'd be no different what color I don't matter what color they are. You show people respect when they they uh you judge a man by how they are, not the color of their skin. That's the way you folks need to start being. I mean, that's just wrong. But, uh, and I don't think it's funny at all. It pisses me off. And I, I mean, I've, I've deleted a lot and there's some I've let up, but left up. But it's, it needs to stop. Because these guys don't have to come on here and tell y'all the truth. Y'all can keep getting parroted shit. People repeat, repeat, repeat that they heard. Or you can get it right from the horse's mouth and have it, you know, it, it's, it's however y'all want it. But I mean, I know I wouldn't come on shit. People saying comments about that crap all the time. I mean, it gets old. It really does. It gets old. But um, anyway, folks, that's uh, that's coming up. Um, I know a lot of you guys are having your pups and winter's coming, and I wanted to show you guys a little idea I came up with. I mean, I'm sure someone else has thought of it too, but I, you know, I got a few of these. I got several good bitches bred that I want to make sure uh, we don't have any trouble with. Like this this bitch here, um, is serious. I don't. Um, she's new. You know, she's not mine. So. I'm whelping the litter. It's not his job to whelp the litter. It's his job to walk dogs. So I'm going to whelp the litter on this one and uh, and make sure they're all good. But uh, I don't know how she is with her with her pups, you know. So I wanted to make sure she was right here close. So what I did is I, I got a bunch of the 42-inch cages, and I just made my own whelping bar in there. I mean, it's a couple screws. You can take it right out um, and mounted it in there where it's secure and just... Uh, you know like that that way I can wrap it I can put one of them little wall heats in keep that that temperature in there you want to keep your temperature when they're having them you know pretty warm man they got to stay like 90 degrees you got, and it's not it, it's not for like when the pups are like a day old it's like first hour that's when they chill you know what I mean when they're wet like when she has to uh kick him out clean him up and have another one and that one's in the corner and it's if it's a draft or if it's, you know, even 65 degrees, that's too cold. You know what I mean? 70 degrees, that's too cold. They'll get, they'll die. So what I like to do when I have them like that is uh, you want to put your heating pad down, put your padding over on top of it when you can, you know, get the pups, help her out, put them on that heating pad while she's having them, you know, and keep them real warm. And then usually after you get them warmed up, I'll leave that heating pad in that corner on low, just enough to stay nice and warm and, uh, and keep a, a heat in there where it's nice and hot in there. I mean, and what I did this time around, I, I ain't losing no puppies. This just ain't gonna be a good Christmas around here because I ain't having. I'm gonna have all my bitches up in the house having them. I don't care. Um, <laughs> and once they're secured, then I'll put them out in the barn. But uh, you know, it's, it takes a while before they can regulate their heat, and that's that's why people lose a lot of dogs. You know, um, the heat lamps are okay. I mean, if you got a good real real sealed box, I've, I've done okay with it but I, you don't really know how many you lose because a lot of times the bitches will you know she'll you'll have a bitch that looks like she's big as a basketball and the next morning you go out there and there's only five puppies well where's the other five she eat them you know what i mean because they died you know that's the way you got to look at it you know so because i know I've, I've i've bred big you can tell how big they get like this bitch here is pretty good size i expect a pretty decent litter cherry this time around she's not real big i don't know how many she's going i would say maybe I'm calling five, six at the most. You know what I'm saying? Already, she's big as a house. I've never bred her before, but I know she's going to have a pretty solid litter or they're going to be huge. Um, you know, it's just by calling it. So, like, if already has pups and I get up in the morning and I didn't know she had them that night and they get chilled and die 
and there's only three alive in there. I know damn good and well she lost puppies. You know what I'm saying? That's the. It's not like, well, she only had three, you know. Well, no. <laughs> you got to think about it right, guys. Because once they get going and they can keep them warm, yeah, a lot of times they'll pull up. And it's that first hour, hour of their life. You know, that's real important. All right, right, let's. I'm going to give you guys a tip around here about fleas because here it comes. All right, let's talk about fleas. We've done this before. I've made this video about using this product, but... I had to remove a bunch of or private before I started losing them. But uh, anyhow, uh, and, and I want you guys to know, I wouldn't tell none of you some, something that I haven't done and know for a fact to work. Okay, I wouldn't give you no, no advice. I do this for you guys to uh, to do well, you know, so you can succeed. Um, now, this, this right here is what I use, and it's in now. You can get it cheap. I bought one of these a year ago. Same size, everything. It costs forty to four dollars and fourteen cents. It has kept the fleas off of my dogs in my yard for a whole year. Okay, so for forty-four dollars and fourteen cents, I have kept the fleas gone. I haven't. I don't. None of my dogs have fleas anymore. But this time of year, now sometimes your puppies you can't keep your bitches. That's why I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and do everybody a treatment before these pups are born. I'm not doing my bitches, but I won't want no fleas on no dogs because that's how your puppies will start getting a few fleas on them. But, um, because you don't really want to treat your bitches. I wouldn't treat them with this while they're, you know, nursing or nothing. Or your pups until they're, they're you know, several months old. But he's old enough now that he's fixing to get his. Um, but they got it in stock. They didn't have it for a long time when it comes in. I suggest you guys that, uh, that want to, uh, try it, you get it now. Um, because look, it's like this winter's coming okay and if you're like me you put a lot of money in just your bedding in these boxes you put i put chips down first pine chips for shavings whatever they call them they're up this year they're seven dollars a bag okay i make a good bedding of them and then i'll put in the actual wheat straw and that's sixteen dollars a bag okay so you're it's an investment to give your dogs warm good warm bedding for the year if you start out with your dogs with fleas and you got a hatch in there. You got to dump that son of a bitch out and clean it. It's a pain and you lose all your money. Okay. That's why I'm, I'm just trying to tell y'all how to, how to stay on the, the, the high end of it. Because once you get your bedding good, they pull out a little here and there. You can just tap it back off with wheat straw and you're good. But, um, this for a whole year, <clears throat> it's, I've treated my whole yard. My whole, I put it in there and sprayed. I sprayed. I've killed ants with it. It kills all kinds of shit. It'll kill the hell out of bees. Don't spray your flowers with it. I know this is not legal in some countries, but um, yeah, I'm sorry for your luck. It works. They that's what they do. They outlaw the shit. It works. But uh, and and this is used to be um that we used to have this in a lot of uh flea medications. So try it. It, I get this exact brand it's in right now. It's very affordable for the results and the time it lasts, okay? And uh, like I said, if you start, you won't have to, because a lot of, we down here, I don't know how it is up north, but down here, y'all don't even have near the flea problems that we do. But here we get them usually two hatches a year. Right here at this time of year when it's cold, hot, cold, hot, because it's been like 80 degrees today, we'll start having a hatch. And then that shit will get in that bedding, and then you got a mess. You got a real mess, but uh, put it. I just do it. If it's fifty pound dog, five cc's, one cc per ten pounds down their back. Rub it in. Put it right down the middle of their back. Rub it in. Don't let it get anywhere they can lick. I don't know if it hurt them or not. It don't seem to bother them at all. I've never had it bother them. They can have licked it. I'm not gonna lie. Run down their side. You know what I mean? No look up. If they ain't even hurt them, you know what I mean. So I've had comments about it. Like an, it's a synthetic nicotine. Yes, it is. But and. There again, when I'm working a dog, people are asking about chemicals. When I work a dog, I don't um, I don't worry about flea medications on him at all. Then at all, anyway, I wash him up every day anyhow, and I have him in such a clean environment that he's not going to get. Uh, he will never have to worry about getting fleas. So this is you know, uh, when you're you know, I like to put this shit on them before I hunt them though, like out, out when I'm taking them in the swamps, because. Especially in the summertime when the ticks are bad. It works good on repelling ticks too. But if I'm getting one like really in good shape and I want his body pure and clean and toxin free, I wouldn't put any kind of flea medicine in him. 
Not even, not even the tablets. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just, you know, that's that's the whole key to to uh, knowing your animal and knowing what's going to make him hot, what's going to make him run right, what's going to do this and that. Is you got to take all the variables out. And if if you were fucking, you know, you using some kind of flea medication or tablet that uh makes them overheat that the people don't realize you know that's and you'll never understand why you know what i mean so that's the reason why i don't use any other unnecessary products when you're actually conditioning a dog for like a show or uh you know something like that you don't you wouldn't want to put flea medication on him anyway shouldn't need it but anyhow i hope uh oh yeah and look guys about that old cornball i I really don't give a shit. I done said my piece about it. I don't need no more. Ink. I don't care about none of that other stuff. I done said what I said, and uh, I made I made my point. I mean, I don't know what else to do. You know what I mean? If it happens, it happens. Some people are hard headed and have to learn the hard way. You know what I mean? But I mean, I've, I've been done all I can do to uh to, to make it clear. You know what I'm saying? What's up, girl? Just trying to find that bone. There it is. There it is. But uh. Anyway, folks, I hope that helps you guys out because, I mean, I know flea meds are really expensive and I'm sure I'm going to get some buddy say, oh, you can't do that. That's not it. I've been doing it for a year straight and uh, I haven't had any issues with fleas, any issues with anything. And uh, it ain't never hurt none of my dogs. And I know a lot of other people that I've turned on to it. I've given this shit to so many people that use it now. And uh, they ain't got no flea problems. And they ain't got no expensive uh, flea medication bill every year. But anyway, folks, y'all take care. Y'all keep on bulldogging and y'all stay safe.